The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency describes mercury as a naturally occurring chemical element found in rock in the Earth's crust, including in deposits of coal. It exists in several forms, including elemental or metallic mercury, inorganic mercury compounds, methyl mercury, and other organic compounds. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health cautions that mercury is used in many industries. It's used to produce chlorine gas and caustic soda, and in thermometers, barometers, batteries, and electrical switches. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration also lists manometers, gauges, valves, and high-intensity discharge lamps, along with its use for preservatives, heat transfer technology, pigments, catalysts, and lubricating oils. Some examples of workers at potential risk of being exposed to mercury include the following according to NIOSH. Workers in facilities where electrical equipment is manufactured. Workers in fluorescent light bulb recycling facilities. Workers in facilities where automotive parts are manufactured. Workers in chemical processing plants that use mercury. Workers in medical, dental, or other health services who work with equipment that contains mercury. And dentists and their assistants when breathing in mercury vapor released from amalgam fillings. Mercury can also be an exposure concern in residential environments if older thermometers, fluorescent light bulbs, science project kits, or other items containing it are damaged. This is due to the fact that elemental mercury breaks into smaller droplets which can go through small cracks or become strongly attached to certain materials, warns the EPA. At room temperature, exposed elemental mercury can evaporate to become an invisible, odorless, toxic vapor. Exposure to organic mercury compounds can also come from eating foods that contain it. These are just a few of the many things to know about mercury and potential exposure risks. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.